plays to win the game. You don't play to just play. It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Sam Rock to the Chiefs next. It is perhaps the best home field advantage in all of football. It's certainly the loudest as we welcome you inside Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. Today it is the opener of the 2024 NFL season between the Dublin Shamrocks taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. With my good friend Charles Davis in the booth, I'm Brandon Gordon, and the moment has finally arrived, CD. It's time to begin a new NFL season. at the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shot of the 30-yard line. The KC offense set to go right as always by the gunslinger, a former MVP in this league. It's Patrick Mahomes. And simply put for many, he's the gold standard for quarterbacks in today's NFL because of his ability to create, find the open man, use all the different arm angles that he has. He's a complete package. And boy, his team loves to play around him. Up past the 30, second down coming up. Well, they always talk about playing great team defense, and that was an excellent example right there. Everyone on assignment, no one in the wrong spot, everyone filling their gaps. Not a whole lot of room to run. Gets it to the 35 after showcasing the great move. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Now Mahomes. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have the Chiefs first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. One down, only about 500 more to go this season. He would certainly welcome most of his passes this year going as well as that. Now that the first one is over, time to settle into a groove and begin the long journey towards week 18 and hopefully the playoffs. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. To throw, it's Mahomes. Open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That one good for 26 and a first down. That's an excellent read right there. Soft over one. That means it's just a single high safety. So you know if you throw the ball to the outside part of the field, help is going to be a little bit late getting there. And he puts one out there for a big time completion. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Up the middle, they run with Gale Sayers. And he maneuvers up the middle for three. And it's second down. And they'll come up second and seven. Throwing now is Mahomes. He finds his man complete. It's time. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the seven. A well-executed 22-yard game. A chance for their first points of the season here as it's first and goal. Now a give, running left at Sayers. And now move him a little closer as he takes it from the 7 down to the 4-yard line. Second and goal from inside the 5. Second and goal at the 4-yard line. They'll try again. Chiefs touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Chiefs are on the board here first in the season opener. Uh, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Well, if we're going to talk about statement drives, I think what they're saying is we're going to establish the run. They gave it to him early and often on this drive, and he wound up taking it into the end zone. 
Extra point by Butker is on target. And it's now a 7 0 game. That time, a nine play drive. And it results in a four yard touchdown run. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This taken in right around the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21 yard line. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And let out by their veteran quarterback. He's been around a while. They don't celebrate birthdays for him. They just cut him up, see how many rings he's got around the middle. He has been in the league a long time. His ability to adjust on the fly is almost unmatched in the game right now because it leads to a couple of snaps per game where you just sit back and ask yourself, how did he pull that off? Opponents can practice and prepare each and every week all they want. But this guy, he is hard to corral. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Now he can exhale. The season is officially underway. Plenty of work done during the offseason, camp, and the preseason that led to that first throw of the year. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Boy, 30 more yards and another first down. Well, far enough, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. They'll run it for the first time with Alvin Kamara. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. A first red zone opportunity the new year here as they come up now first and 10. Looking to throw. Now he's got it. Touchdown! From 19 yards away. And the Shamrocks are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. The tight end position has always been dangerous, especially in the red zone, short field. But now even more so because these tight ends aren't necessarily the tight ends of old. They're the rocked up wide receivers who have a little bit more speed, way harder to cover than before. Now the try here for the point after. And he starts his new year off on the right foot as well, as this kick is good. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision, loses him about four yards. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. Perfect start to the season on their first drive last time out. Able to find the end zone. Now we'll see if they can make it two for two here in week one. They'll start on the ground here on first down. Gets by him at the 25. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Now a throw here to his running back. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but 7-7, seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get advantage that way. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up, second and 10. Mahomes going to throw. It's Kelsey on the ground. And able to get this one across the 45 before it's brought down. The second catch for him today, and then the running down the first down. That was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock it out as a receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. Mahomes to throw once more. He finds his man complete. That's time. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Second and five. 
Now a give at Sayers between the tackles. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. He's settling in nicely here in the first quarter running the football. Remember, he already has the touchdown run. And you can feel the vibe, can't you? He's in unison with his offensive front. They are in concert together. So if you're flipping over to the other side of the scrimmage, they've got to be more physical and handle some of these gaps that have been created. Ball on the 35. Here comes second and five. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Well, this one completed. It's Rasheed Rice. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, that play there was certainly a scouting report special because Covered was all too aware that this close to the end zone, he's going to become a bigger weapon for that offense. And they were there to help force the incompletion. And he's going to go down. He sacked back in the 24. No surprise there. Chase Young wrecks that play with a sack. After the sack, things get a little tougher here. Third and long for Mahomes and the Chiefs. They'll set up a throw. Under pressure, they got him again. DJ Jones providing a little deja vu. Back-to-back -back sacks, and now they're staring at a fourth and long. Butker's kick here is good. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So as it turns out, that sack doesn't wind up costing them, Charles. They at least get points, get three of them. Yeah, that's where your kicker can really come to your rescue because you know after the sack, there was a little consternation there. Are we out of field goal range? Are we going to be able to get three? In this case, he stepped right up and gave them exactly what they needed. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. Staying on the ground on first with Camara. And he will possibly get back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. On the other hand, it will definitely take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. Dublin with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a second and 10. Back to throw. There's Chris Olave. So the completion good for seven there. And now it's third and three. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. They're able to convert with a gain of four. A lot depend on the spot there, and he got it. But it wasn't by much, was it? I remember Coach Madden talking about, depending on which foot the official used, that would tell you whether you had the first down or not. And you want that upfield foot to be the one that spots the ball, don't you? And you and I have the luxury of a couple extra views here in the booth, and he did get it, but not by much. They'll get four there out of the screen and it's second down. They're going to look to throw. Alave over the middle. Second catch for him today and it'll wind up a first down.
They'll set up to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. But prior to that, he had hit his first six passes to start the game, so on a nice little run to begin. It feels like this offense has carried its dress rehearsal into the game. You know, because you do practice it, you do go through it, and in this case, it is clicking exactly like they drew it out. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Well, for teams that like to play man coverage, running corner routes can be tough on them because of the ability of getting into it. Sometimes you're squaring it off. Sometimes you're just rounding it. Sometimes there's a fake. Sometimes there's not. That makes it very, very difficult for a DB to stay with it. And it's caught. Touchdown. A great play there. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Shamrocks have taken the lead in the second quarter and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. Clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game, and I figure he's gonna draw a little more attention and coverage moving forward. Point after, right down the middle, and the lead is now 14 to 10. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal. And I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out and out joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit even though they wanted the six points. Yeah, maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. This defense has really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Mahomes throw complete here to his receiver Brown. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. Mahomes now to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Now here's Mahomes. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. That's a tough spot for a running back coming out of the backfield because you know he's got to look for the football. Knowing full well, he's got a man coming his way full steam, and he broke that one up. And to find the open man, that's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. And about 25 yards on third down, they'll take it. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when he talked about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Meanwhile, Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. 23 yards, the final tally. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. Now a 
it's Mahomes again. And yeah, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Here's a give now to Sayers. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. This offense so far on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and goal. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And that is caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. Earl Smith Jr. from four yards out. And the Chiefs are once again back in front. No surprise there. Third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a short room defender, he might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. Extra point by Butker is on target, and it's now 17 14. Here's the Chiefs' kickoff unit now as they'll send this one away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Dublin's offense now set to take over. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that up when you just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive the last into double-digit snaps. You need a score here, not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. Second and nine now. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Over 70 yards receiving now for him in this first half alone as he's got a first down on that last catch. They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. They'll look to throw here. Look at the big man rumble. And yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. What a game he's having. They've not been able to stop him or even slow him down. He's got two touchdowns already. That could have been a third. He's got the secondary coach asking people for answers. Can you help me out? Because we are not slowing him down. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They'll look to throw. Finding Alvin Kamara for the completion. And able to get him down does reach the five back-to-back -back nice gains that one for 14 yards and another first back to throw again that is incomplete not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. A uh, second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. All right, Captain, is batting down the hatch his time defensively. Dodge two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're trying to dial up that third and Well, knowing them and knowing what we've just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you kind of run out of your running plays. Fire another one into the end zone. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit here. This is a fairly straightforward 22-yard short attempt. And his kick is indeed good, and that will tie things at 17-all. 
A good drive gets them inside the five, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens because that was the old bend but don't break approach. Made sure they contained them when they absolutely had to and forced the field goal attempt that went through. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. And out come the Chiefs now. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Looking to throw is Mahomes. He'll drop this one off to Sayers. Just a gain of a couple there, and that'll make it second down. to throw it's Mahomes they get it to Sayers on the screen they'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds the Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit and another first down and this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half so how about the play call there sometimes if you can't protect you've got a forward screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. Mahomes now on first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. He finds his man complete. It's time. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. This is part of why this guy's got multiple MVPs on the mantle. We're used to seeing him make the impossible throws, but here Mahomes knows he's got nothing, so he wisely just gets rid of it. This is caught. It's Brown. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. Butker's kick here is good. And with that, they take the lead here, 20-17. to 17. Well, a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner, because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. Seems likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. And we'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. But Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. 
And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from me a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11. First down. Again, he'll drop to throw. And this is going to be intercepted. And the Chiefs are going to get the football here at their own 40 yard line. Oh, I saw the pressure coming out, and then just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it, and the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy, and can he step into a throw? And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. They'll start at the 40, so great starting field position following the interception. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. Mahomes going to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. I think we just saw that there. We saw that indeed picking up the first. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. That tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. The first down run, not going to get them a whole lot. Maybe a yard. Yeah, it looks like just one yard there. So that'll bring up second and nine. Now Mahomes. Pass incomplete. And when you're in a one-score game in the second half, now's not the time to force the football into places where you shouldn't. And that's a smart decision to just get that one out of there. Throwing is Mahomes on third. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. They'll wind up losing three here on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. So now on comes the field goal unit. And wow, this is no ordinary try here. This from 54 yards away. Butker's kick here is good. And that will add three more to their lead. It pushes it up to six. But whatever was said in the locker room during the break must have worked. They forced the turnover. They didn't get the touchdown, Charles, but it does translate into three points to begin the second half. Exactly as they discussed in the locker room at halftime. Get some points to get things kick-started. Now start your half off with some momentum. Gives you something to build on for your next possession. Dublin's offense now set to take over. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal is not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. 
Well, as my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. And partner, to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. the shotgun he'll look to throw over the middle into the hands of Michael Thomas and he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackles made at the Chiefs 35 give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs they'll look to throw here on first down he completes it to Alave and he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some... Now the red challenge flag makes an appearance as Andy Reid wants a second opinion. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. That man again, it's complete. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. Ball sits on the 10, second and five. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown. A great effort there with now three week one touchdowns. And the Shamrocks have tied the ball game with a chance to take the lead. It's been quite the game for him individually. A trio of touchdown catches now. So pick a route, any route, whatever you want him to run, he's going to do it and do it well and end up in the end zone. This has really been fun to watch. Extra point forthcoming. And that one puts them on top here in the third. So that drive goes eight plays. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get him three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. An 11 yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. On the give, this is Sayers. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. This drive starts with two steps forward and now one back. A pair of first downs, and here a loss of yardage. From midfield, here's Mahomes. Open man, it's 
the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 23 yards to pick up there. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense. And guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. Now here's a pass on first down. It's knocked away and incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes. You can read his hands. And you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. And that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. I tell you what, if this is any quarterback other than Patrick Mahomes, I'm telling you how this is an ill-advised throw. The 15 is so good on the move with all those different arm angles and releases. And he will take it up and in for a Chiefs touchdown. What a great play here. Really his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Chiefs have answered back with a third quarter touchdown of their own to retake the lead. He's given them a little jolt. Just gave them the lead there, but two TDs now. simply saying, I want to win. And now he's hoping his defense has that mentality as they try to hang on to that lead. And no, it falls incomplete. So the two-point conversion, no good. Tough there, good pass, hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere seeing that play. Focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. Here's the Chiefs kickoff unit now as they'll send this one away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Dublin's offense now set to take over. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. I don't care who you play. You play to win the game. To the line to you don't play, play, just play. So we will it's switch in as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. As we've got the final quarter upon us, we get ready to start the fourth. The throw over the middle taken in. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Well, this offense hasn't been at their best here. They've made some mistakes. They've been frustrated. They've been largely shut down. But then you look up and say, wait a second. This is a one-score game. So they're still very much in this. And they're on the move here with a first down. They'll look to throw now on first down. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. From the 46, here's second and four. He'll drop to throw. A quick throw there is incomplete. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and four. Back to throw again. This one taken in by Alave. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. And that's one of those where it feels like backyard football in a sense. You say, forget about the route. Just run to the open spot in the middle of the field, and I'll find you. Good throw, good concentration on the catch, and they pick up the first down. Now it's Kamara in the passing game. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. And from the 34, here's second and four. And 
Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Alvin Kamara reeling it in on back-to-back -back plays. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Some good games around the league here early in week one, and this one shaping up to be as good as any of them as we come up on a first and ten. Kamara up the middle, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Thomas has got it, complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 15-yard line. They'll look to throw. Going right back to Michael Thomas. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And it's second down. He'll look to throw. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. They'll look to throw again. And it's caught. Touchdown. Michael Thomas from eight yards out. And the Shamrocks answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. A plenty of scoring here of late, and our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave up a touchdown the other end, so they knew that with time getting short, they had to put something together here, and they were able to do so and retake the lead right back. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. They'll look to throw. And this one's caught, and their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. So they make the decision they want a three-point lead versus a two-point lead, and they got it. Yeah, at this stage of the game, it seems like the exact right thing to do. Put a little pressure on your defense, but the biggest thing now is you're making the other team chase you. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded right at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. They go play action. Now Mahomes. Throw inside, completion to Rice. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. A run. This is Sayers. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. So much of the game today. We're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Throwing now is Mahomes. That'll be caught by Rice. So five yards here, five on the play. And that will bring up second down. Brings up second and five at the 38-yard line. They run with Sayers. What a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. 56 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. He finds his man complete. That's time. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. Mahomes now to throw. 
He finds his man complete. It's time. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. And this offense in good shape. Two timeouts and the two-minute warning. Here's first and 10. Over the middle, it's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. They'll try and pound it in with Sayers. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. So stuck from the two, now what? You know me pretty well. What do you think I want here? Play action. Definitely. Let him get outside and create. And if he has to run it. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Patrick Mahomes taking it in for two yards out. And the Chiefs have taken a fourth quarter move. Too deep. Here comes a return. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The situation for him offensively as follows. Down by four. A minute 17 remains. He'll look to throw. He's got his target. It's Alave. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. He's back to throw. Able to find Jones. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. They'll look to throw. And he's got his man on the out route. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds left to go in the game. Back to throw. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Trent McDuffie with a pick. And a super return as he gets us all the way down inside the 25-yard line. We talk about making winning plays. That is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception. Huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing it. exactly what's being stated into the head coach's headset. Oftentimes, they have a guy upstairs who monitors this at the end of the game. A little clock management 101. And they take a knee. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. And just how they envision the start of the season, kneeling it down, defense can't stop the clock. This one's a winner. You know what's really strange? I think a lot of people think that the kneel down practice stuff really only happens like one time a week. The best teams I know, they practice starting back in OTAs. They want to visualize winning a game and how great that feels, and they got it done in this one. Yeah, and he gets them to run it on. The CD Hall is a little extra excitement for week one and one of our early window games here. Sunday comes to a close. Good to be back in the booth with you, my friends. And it's good to be back in the booth with you as well. And we know that not everyone's going to start the season 1-0, right? Half the league is going to have a loss on their record. 
but everyone's got to build off of that opener. And how many coaches tell us every single year, you make your most progress between week one and week two. We'll see how both of these teams progress the rest of this season. So for Kansas City, it was a hard-fought game, and they'll exit 1-0 as they win by a touchdown. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Baltimore Ravens. Meanwhile, for the Dubliners, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat, and they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. I'm Brandon Gunn. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.